12 and 4. The Pac-10 really strong this year. And this Thursday, Pac-10 basketball on FSN has number 16 Oregon. Fresh off a brilliant upset of number one UCLA at Arizona State. That's Thursday, 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 on the West Coast. Should be a terrific matchup as Aaron Brooks leads his Ducks into the desert. Yeah, that small lineup of Ernie Kent with Aaron Brooks and Bryce Taylor, Martin Luna at the five with this ability to stretch out defenses by knocking down outside shots. I mean, Jones back they showed it today. They're, they're, they're a tough matchup for anybody. I just like the way Brooks is playing with that confidence. He wants the ball. Yeah. Yeah. He hit some big shots today. Well, good to see there a couple of Pac-10 point guards come of age. Aaron Brooks and then Mustafa Shakir down in, in, in Arizona. Both are really have both have really elevated their game and playing more like the point guards that everyone thought they would be coming in to Oregon and Arizona respectively. Arizona lost the first game of the year at Virginia. They have won 12 in a row since. Wow. Big man knocking down three throws. The lead is eight is Daniel Hackett on the sideline. Now the point guard for Oregon State is Seth Tarver. Seth Tarver. Oh. Just been plagued by a foot injury for the past couple of months. Just starting to feel close to 100%. Still didn't have the confidence to explode off that left foot. The younger brother of Josh Tarver, 6'5", freshman of Portland. His, his athleticism is just jaw-dropping. It's eye-popping, but he can't display it because he's been injured. Here's a matchup here. Josh Gibson against Jack McGillis. McGillis gets out of position by Brown. That's not a good move. He got in trouble doing that a couple of games ago against Oregon. He's got to stay solid and not give up that, that kind of position to Josh Gibson inside. You mentioned that he reminds you a little of Bernard King. That was a Bernard King-like move right there. How quickly he got off the block. Just released before the shot blocker. Uh, the alleged shot blocker starts to do it. come over and help. That shot blocker in his dreams. There you go. Hey, 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 that's the job. Hit those three. Yeah, six, ten. I mean, it's tough to close out and effectively contest his shot. Lewis with Young, Taj Gibson, and Jai. And Gabe Ford on the floor for the Trojans. And with the drive on a beautiful move is Dwight Lewis. Yeah. Freshman from Metairie, Louisiana. As you see, junior year Metairie in high school, Archbishop Rummel, he averaged 28 points, 9, 10 rebounds a game, about 5 or 6 assists. I mean, he, he's a big-time scorer. But the Hurricane Katrina had to relocate to Katy, Texas. And his numbers dropped a little bit, but uh, yeah, he's a terrific talent. Church. Marcel Jones, nice offensive rebound and hit back. This is the kind of energy and effort the Beavers showed in the first half against UCLA. There's just a big question defensively. Can they stop USC from scoring and can they sustain this, this offensive energy? Knocking down shots, attacking the offensive glass. They do it not well defended. Then they also didn't steal him off. And guess who's there? Ty Gibson uh, is yet another rebound and put back. This guy's number three rebound in the Pac-10 conference. And so far, Oregon's still one of our keys to open up the game, uh, the battle in the trenches. And right now, they're not doing a very good job. Gibson with his fifth rebound. And a very good shot by, by Seth Farber. Okay, that's the uncertainty of the guy who's even played with injuries. Trenches. Trenches. By Gibson. And a timeout is taken Oregon by Gabe John. His club had cut the lead to six points, but all of a sudden USC goes on a run, and they're back up by 11, 37-26. And right here, I mean, the ball is just loose. And again, a, a gamble by Wesley Washington didn't come up with the basketball, and then you, you leave the basket completely exposed. Hey, fans, here's your chance to win tickets to this year's State Farm Pac-10 winning tournament in San Jose on March 2nd through the 5th or the Pacific Live Pac-10 men's tournament in Los Angeles on March 7th through the 10th. Log on to Pac-10.org for your chance to win today. USC dominating Oregon State. They've outscored them in the paint. 18 are farther. Kyle well, Trevor, USC return shot the selection, Tim Floyd says, has been much better. I mean, last year they averaged 19 points in the game. This year they're only averaging 11 and a half. And the result is their field goal percentage is 4% 
better than it was a year ago. Yeah, well, you think about the big guys from last year, uh, you know, and Jai and, and Jeremy Barr and, and Sean Cromwell, not really that effective as low post players. you got a guy in Taj Gibson who's going to get it done for him getting the basketball. And Cromwell with a big block here, knocking it away. And uh, another TV timeout now as USC has a 37-26 lead step timeout. He has the ball knocked away and USC's defense remains strong as they try and run the record to 13 and 4. Sportsnet have combined and partnered to present the Beaver Dam. We thank them both. I'm called Beaver Tracks Ice Cream, where it's not been terrible basketball. Fly with a thick band of buds and a bio of a peanut butter ice cream. I'm Paul Derry, the Northwest favorite since 1931. <laughs> right now getting the boot from Taj Gibson. This is a young man who didn't play high school basketball last year because Calvary Christian, his high school team, folded, but man, he has shown he can play with the big guys. Yeah, uh, he's young, athletic, well, not all that young. He's actually a 21 year old freshman, but he's long. And athletic Gibson, quick off his feet, does a nice job, has a, has a good touch up to about 12 to 15 feet. And right now having a terrific game, 11.5 rebounds. I don't know, Steve, he continues to, at this pace. Uh, your Aaron Brooks selection is packed in clear that we could be in jeopardy. Uh, he's pretty good today. And then in a loss on Thursday, for 31, and a loss to this USC team. Yeah, that's the difference to me. I mean, you know, look at the defense. Yeah, it's active. Uh, not, nothing easy for Oregon State. That's what you'd expect. And nothing easy. Another block, and this time it's by Njai. I'll tell you, Jim Floyd has to be proud of his team and the way they have responded. Yeah, I mean, you got Tom Weldon, Injai, both guys 6'9", 6'10".